Hey Not Collective, I uh, got kind of caught out here to do some readings, so that's what I am going to do. We're going to do general collective readings here. Let's see what's going on with everybody. These energies are getting intense, right? So, let's see what Spirit has for us today. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guides. All right, first out, we have the visionary, number 46. Okay, developing habits and actions to help you turn your visions into reality will guide you on your path, okay, to ultimate success and happiness, the visionary. How beautiful is that, right? So we're going to put that card right there for the collective here, and we're going to dive into a reading. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, there's been a lot of shifts going on. A lot of new energies coming in here. Uh, we're coming up on the eclipse cycle. It's about lasting change. Okay, so uh, lots of stuff coming up for people, I'm sure. Let's see what's going on here. Thank you, Spirit. All right, I got, I got two popping out right off the get-go here. Nope, three. I've got a King of Swords. I've got a Three of Wands. I've got a Page of Pentacles. I have a three of pentacles, page of swords, two of pentacles, and an ace of pentacles upside down. Okay. What do we got going on here, collective? We got this king of swords sitting here on the throne, right? It's in the upright position, which means, you know, it's time to get sturdy, to get practical here. It's about bringing um, these habits in action, right? Bringing in good habits, Okay, this is a time of new beginnings here, people. We need to be focusing on our gifts, all right? Um, innately, we know kind of what our gifts are. If you don't, start looking at what makes you happy, what brings passion into your life. We have another three here. This is a promise of victory here, okay? Again, mind, body, spirit, mind, body, soul, right? Don't forget the heart. That's part of this, okay? We're connecting back into our heart centers here. I see we've got a page of swords, kind of looking at this victory and kind of doubting what's going on here. Like back and forth, right? We're all trying to finish purging this energy. And I feel like uh, some of us are not seeing this Ace of Pentacles that is sitting right here in front of us. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these again real quick. All right. Um... It's like a doubting. I'm feeling like a doubting going on here. For some of you, it could be, uh, you know, past relationships, future relationships. Like, what am I supposed to be doing here, right? There are a lot of people that are starting to wake up and it can be confusing, right? We've got the three of wands again, okay? Double three of wand energy here, all right? This is important, okay? This is about knowing what's behind you, reaching out and looking for something better here, okay? I feel like people have gone through some stuff, but they're ready to let that go, right? We're ready to balance out here, okay? Not only spiritually, but financially. It's about bringing balance into your life. Continue looking at your gifts. We have a nine of wands right here, okay? This is the energy. Um, this can feel like a time of, you know, um, you know, being stressed, having a lot to do, which is why you might not be seeing this blessing. Can you give me something specific on this ace of pentacles in the reverse, please? It's about, it's really about, you know, concentrating on these blessings here that are coming in. Okay. I have a five of swords. I have a three of cups upside down and I have a king of swords. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what's going on with this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse here? The Ace of Pentacles in the upright is a divine blessing here, whether it's financial or spiritual health here. Okay. And I feel like something is blocking that. And I feel like it's the energy that people have going on here. This is not about being sneaky. This is about staying in your integrity here. No matter what is happening around you, you need to stay in your integrity here. Okay. We've got this three of um, cups in the reverse as well, as well as the king of swords here. 
Yeah, like I'm kind of seeing that some of you might be going through kind of a purge here. Like the community, it feels like your tribe has turned against you, which is bringing out this Knight of Swords energy. All right. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles again in reverse. That's like some craziness here. Um, you know, it kind of feels like, you know, part of this to me is like, what is your focus on? If your focus is just on money right now, okay, you need to be focused on your gifts. All right, through your gifts and your passions is where the finances are going to come in, where you're going to meet the soul tribe. All right, to get these turned back around, it feels like, you know, you guys have maybe started a project or something and you've kind of walked away from that. So you need to dive back in here. I'm going to get some more clarification on this. Okay, again, these were in the reverse. Real quick, let's see what we got going on. Can you give me a uh, confirmation? Thank you. See, it always happens before I even ask. Yeah, we have a tower moment coming up here. Okay, now notice in this tower card, it is not complete desolation. In fact, the animals are not moving away. They're looking at it, okay? They're looking up at this, all right? This is bringing in light. This is not about destruction here. This is about, you know, opening space, all right? for new great things. Justice is bringing this in here. Okay, you have the four of wands in reverse as well. For some of you, I might I feel like you might be dealing with a situation that you are letting go into the past. And that's kind of what needs to happen here. Can I ask something specifically on this king of swords? Because we have two of them out here. Wow, I have the two of swords upside down. Somebody's getting clarity here. Okay. Um, I believe, I really feel like somebody has been poorly mistreated. <laughs> okay. Page of Pentacles upside down. You need to turn that back into the right. They're kind of not sure. Like they haven't, for some reason, either they weren't seeing the truth or they were not being told the truth here. Okay. Um, and I know how frustrating that can be. You have to understand, um, that we don't always get the whole truth okay sometimes the truth is just not um not what we're supposed to you know like we're not supposed to see that i also see now the king of swords is in the upright here okay um highly analytical all right this is kind of like you know the leadership here is unquestioned so whatever you're doing you need to understand okay that you have this blessing here. Some of you might be dealing with a, a king of swords, okay? Um, I feel like you are moving past. You've taken off the blindfold here. You're seeing. Now, what I do maybe not see here, okay, is this temperance card, right? We've got the temperance in the reverse as well. So for some of you, you need to come back into your power and understand that the universe is doing a lot of clearing for us. Yeah, it's the beginning energy. You need to come with a spirit of faith here, okay? And understand that, um, you know, conflict does not solve anything, right? Conflict does You can stand up for yourself as a king of swords, but make sure you're doing it from your higher self, okay? You can put those boundaries up from your higher self. Get some confirmation here. King of Swords, please. Yeah, I mean, you. what I'm hearing is you are in a position of strength in some kind of negotiation here, okay? And you have to kind of not let yourself... Um, yeah, we've got the Ace of Cups here, okay? And the Magician. I don't... I only... Uh, this is not a full deck, so I do not read these in the reverse, just so you know. We've got the Magician here, and we've got the Ace of Cups here. All right, you have divine love that's going to be coming in and helping you. You are the magician. You are coming from a place here of um, authority, okay? And because you have the three of wands and not the two of wands, I feel like if there's some kind of negotiating, if you're dealing with something that has to be dealt with, you have to remember your gifts here and know that you are in 
Um, you are in the seat of strength in this negotiation. You might not see it, but you are. Okay? All right. I'm going to grab one more card here just to end this out. You are coming from a place of strength. Today is a special day. It is yours. Yesterday slipped away. It cannot be filled with more meaning. About tomorrow, nothing is known. But this day, today is yours. Make use of it. Today, you can make someone happy. Today, you can help another. And this day is a special day. It is yours. The other one I got is, may I be happy? May I be peaceful? May I be free from suffering? May they be happy. May they be peaceful. May they be free from suffering. May all be happy. May all be peaceful. May all be free from suffering. Higher ground here. Okay? Stay in the higher ground. Uh, Eagle's Perch. Higher perspective. Okay? Don't let these people drag you down to their level. All right? Take good care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And as always, be kind out there.